guys, it's Vani and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing the bullet journal video on the month of October. Also keep in mind that this is my first bullet journal ever. So I'm kind of just jumping into it and I'm very new and again everyone uses it in their own specific way. And that's the beauty of the bullet journal system. And the best part is that it is very customizable and you can customize it according to your preference. So of course let's start off with what I use. So for this month, I use my Artline fine liners and my Micron fine liners. If you don't have these, then you can use any. Next up, I have the brush pens that I use the most often, which are my Camden brush pens. Lastly, for more colorful and decorative things, I will use my washi tape. So those are pretty much the materials that I will use for my bullet journal. And now let's move on to the exciting part. And now comes the calendar in which we can write an important dates and events like for this month Halloween is coming and I kept my theme as those cute ghosts. So now I'm making the calendar table and the size is 3 into 3 cm but you can make your bullet journal ke size se boxes bana sakte. and then after putting the date I realized that these are only 24 boxes and I had to make 31 so I added rest of them later. Then I made some dots like some of them were bigger and some of them were smaller and then I just highlighted the goals. I made the playlist of the month in which we can write the best music that we liked in this month and here I by mistakenly wrote September instead of October and if you are making the same bullet journal as mine then don't mess it up as I did. Next up I made the drinking log or the water log and this is a very helpful tracker and whenever I open my diary or my bullet journal it reminds me to drink a glass of water and it also gives me a conclusion at the end of the month that how much water I drink in a day. tracker and it is very helpful to track your habits again it is customizable I wrote the habits which I have to track you can write yours in the same way I made the weekly spread in which I can write my homework or the work that is to be done today itself and I also made the reminders box in which I will write the work that is to be done within the week. And I started the week from Friday as this month was starting from the day Friday. for the week 2 and I wrote a simple code down below.
a calendar over there to track the dates. For week 4, I decided to make the boxes for my weekly spread. As you all know, Halloween is there in this month, so I made a separate pair in which I can make the doodles for the Halloween. in which we can write the work that is to be done within the month. And yeah, one thing that I have to tell you that this diary slipped off my hand and that's why the pages are so crumbled. So for the final page, I made the reflect on the month so that whenever I look back on the month of October, I can recall my memories and the best of October. Next to then I wrote goodbye October.
on my bullet journal. So this is how I plan the month of October. Again, I'm a first timer but I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. I hope you guys have a great productive day and I'll talk to you in my next video. Till then, bye!